Adaptic is, is an augmented reality company. We make a low vision device to help people with central retinal vision loss see better and function better in their daily lives. This is a mobile device that people can wear while they're walking around, and because it's augmented reality, they can see around it and interact with their daily life without being closed in. Because it's a visual aid, it's FDA class one exempt, so we do not require FDA regulatory approval. As we all know, AMD is a very big disease with a lot of people who are suffering from it. But to date, none of the therapies that are out there are actually helping people's vision that they've already lost from dry AMD. Magnification is what we do have, but magnification alone is not enough. Imagine walking around with a pair of binoculars. You lose your context and you're not really going to be able to function as well as you'd like to. In AMD, as we know, people lose their central vision and they can't make out small fine details. Magnification certainly helps a little bit, but you still, like I said, lose your context. What we do is we provide the whole view to everybody, in addition to other patent pending uh, technologies that help simulate natural vision for the user. This is, we're primarily a software company platformed on open market augmented reality technology. And with our patent pending adaptive systems, our device gets better over time as the more the users use it, and even if their device, as their disease gets worse. We've had over 30 users in preclinical trials use our device, and we had significant improvement in reading acuity and speed. So we decided to run an actual clinical trial. We've had 10 users to date in our clinical trial, and one of the important points of our trial was we had an independent general optometrist, not a low vision optometrist, because we wanted to make sure the device was easy enough to use that someone who wasn't familiar with it could help older people use the device for longer periods of time. In this, we were looking at reading acuity as well as independent activities of daily living, and we had very promising results. With these timed independent activities of daily living, with different features of our device, people were able to do regular tasks that they would want to do in their daily life that they simply weren't able to do. A large percentage of the users really could not do most of the tasks we, we assigned to them with their regular glasses, but we had a significant improvement in the ability to do these tasks, and they were very happy about their increased potential independence with our device. Reading also improved. For context, the orange line is the improvement with the adaptive device. The yellow and gray line are the visual acuity improvements from the view one and view two trial for Ilea and Lucentis. So we're in the same ballpark as them. But realize, this is a visual aid, not a therapy. So this can be done in conjunction with these treatments. As you can see on the previous one, there was uh, some scotoma differences. So people with ring scotomas, their vision does get worse for reading if you increase the magnification too much because you're magnifying into their blind spot. But that's adjustable on our device. So our study showed that people had improved visual function, improved visual acuity. They were able to do things they wanted to do, so their independence improved. And they were able to wear the device for hours at a time. So our next steps are to expand our protocol, have more users in the study, and we want to send the device home with people. We have one user who's using the device at home. The green lines show us when he's just using the device on regular magnification. And as he started using the device more, you can see the red and the pink lines there, he's starting to use the more advanced features that take a little bit of practice to use. And he was very happy with it. He says he absolutely loves it, and we're having a difficult time getting the prototype away from him to try it on somebody else. We have a pretty good team here of clinicians as well as people from the business end and the technology side uh, with a lot of experience with both startups as well as clinical uh, interaction with patients. To date, we've raised some money to get us to this point in terms of R&D, and our goal for the end of this year is to raise some money for a limited market release with some more growth capital for 2019. Thank you.